Norman with iSave Tractors. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at our 2000 RPM 5 foot Category 0 flail mower made by Mop Manufacturing from the mid 1970s. Here we go. <laughs> iSave Tractors keychains now available for only $5.99 each. Attach these to your vintage garden tractor keys and ride in style. We have them in John Deere, Ford, Wheelhorse, Cub Cadet, as well as new ones being added all the time. Get them at iSaveTractors.com. So this flail mower was made in the mid-1970s by a company called Mott Manufacturing. This particular model mower was made specifically for the Simplicity 4040, 4041, and 9020 Powermax line of tractors. This model mower features a gearbox that accepts a 2000 RPM rear PTO. That gearbox transfers the power down the side to a belt-driven pulley system that in turn turns the flails underneath the mower. Now the whole cutting width of this is 60 inches, which is five feet. So it takes a big chunk of property, which is fantastic because I have about four acres of overgrowth that I mow with this machine. So these are the cutting knives or flails for this mower. The way this works is this giant shaft will rotate and these flails will just kind of come down and whip the grass and the vegetation below. That's how the cutting action works. Since these are lightweight flails instead of giant blades, if they hit an obstruction, they just kind of deflect off. So that makes it less likely to break the cutting knives as well as less likely to send debris launching from the mower. That's really the main reason why I'm using this flail mower in kind of my the rougher parts of my property because I don't want to damage a nice finish mower and I don't want to send rocks like flying in every direction. This is a big steel roller that rides along the terrain and is underneath the flail mower. Underneath this cover is where all of the drive and driven pulleys are that operate the actual flails. Let's take it off so I can show you what's underneath. So the beauty of this mower is look at this patch of growth right here. It is not grass. It's full of ferns, thorn bushes, maybe little uh, saplings starting to grow. I wouldn't want to run one of my nice finish belly mowers over this. There could be holes or sticks or rocks also in there. So that's where this flail mower really comes in handy. I can hook it up to the rear of this tractor and just run it over and it will cut all this and keep the growth down and I don't have to worry about what I'm hitting below. Here's a shot of all the property I've mowed so far with this flail mower. All that stuff down there, as well as what's in and next to the white fencing area. And then as I pan through behind me is all of the stuff I have left to mow. So as you can see, I'm going to be really putting this thing through the test over the next couple of weeks. Here's another example of the kind of stuff I tackle with the flail mower. These are all overgrown uh, raspberry thorn bushes. Again, uh, 
a belly mower only comes off the ground a few inches where this flail mower, I can pick it up like a foot off the ground so I can navigate over uh, rough terrain. Look, there's a pile of rocks right there. Let's use the flail mower and mow this stuff down. There's what the aftermath looks like. You know, it's not like a finish mower, but then again, that's not what I'm using it for. I'm using it as a brush hog pretty much, and it does a great job against this uh, thicker, tougher stuff. So a little bit about this tractor. This is not the Simplicity 4040 that I just recently redid on this channel. This is a Simplicity 4041 Power Max tractor. I have a bunch of these Simplicities. I d put the belly mower on the 4040 that I just restored, and then I decided to put the flail mower on this 4041. This one has four more horsepower than the 4040, has a f uh, tougher rear axles, and a different PTO setup for the rear PTO. But uh, they both work great. This is just uh, happens to be the tractor that's on. And there you have it. There's a closer look at our Mott Manufacturing 5 foot 2000 RPM flail mower for the Simplicity Power Max series. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, I save tractors. In addition to making these great videos, we are actually an aftermarket parts development company. We are currently designing and making a bunch of parts for the Onan CCK, CCKA, CCKB engines that popularly power these Simplicity Power Max tractors. We also already have a ton of parts available for the old Kohler K-Series cast iron single cylinder engines, the KT twin engines, the Magnum engines, the K582, 532, 42 engines, as well as parts for the old cast iron Briggs and Stratton engines, Wisconsin and Tecumseh engines. You can learn all about what we do at isavetractors.com. My name is Norman. Thanks for watching.